Instagram Instagram is like a fridge. You keep opening and closing it every few minutes to see if there's anything good when you get bored. Urban Dictionary. A site where it's a challenge to find one subject where no one talks about sex. Me. Looks up cookie. Definition. A woman's pussy. Me. Uh, okay. Looks up Kelly Clarkson. Definition. A fine young piece of ass that I'd do some naughty things to if I met. Me. Looks up herbal essences. Definition. The act of ripping a girl's ass and pouring shampoo down the middle. Me. Of course. Urban Dictionary. Of course. Snapchat. A pointless form of communication in which one tries to send messages to people and talk about stuff that is mainly replied with a stupid selfie. Every morning one has to send a picture to all four or five of their quote unquote streaks in hopes that they'll reply. Guys never break the streak. It's always the girls that break it. Snapchat sucks ass. Johnny. Hey. How was the test today? Hot babe. Sends picture of good side of face with tongue sticking out. Johnny. Okay. How was school? Facebook. A website owned by the CIA used to spy on dumbasses who do all the work for Big Brother. Appeals to brainwashed tools who are stupid and ought to be concerned with fashion and trend and sports so getting them to fall for Facebook and Twitter and cell phones isn't that hard. Sign up for Facebook and let the US government know exactly what you're up to at all times. Remember to use your real name. And get used to all that farming. Once the Bilderbergs take over all you're going to have is dirt. Twitter. The new replacement for the walls of a public toilet. A place to write one's thoughts, often while sitting on a toilet, hoping the public will read them. After I was suspended from school for graffiti I found this Twitter thing. 9 Gag. A website where every user on it enjoys gagging on 9 dicks in their mouth at once. Person 1. 9 Gag is such a funny website. Person 2. Have you told your girlfriend about your massive addiction to penis yet? Tinder. A dating app in which 95% of the guys are looking for casual sex or nudes to jack off to, and 95% of the girls are either looking for B or just want to make friends, resulting in pretty much consistent disappointment and frustration for both parties. Kinda like real life. Dude matches with girl. Dude. Hey wanna meet up. Girl. You worthless pig. I'm not just on Tinder for hookups. I'm here to have valuable conversation and try to find Mr. Right. Dude. Unmatched well. Better luck next time. Google Plus. The social networking website that will find any any way to create an account for you by making you click on the wrong button. If there's any other website where creating an account is easier, it is in all probability spam. Yesterday I was asked three times whether I wanted to be on Google+, twice on YouTube and even once on Gmail. YouTube. A website that is owned by Google that has absolutely terrible copyright rules, thanks to the DMCA. Guy1. I got a copyright strike on YouTube for playing a copyrighted song for three seconds. Guy2. YouTube has some of the worst copyright rules. Guy1. Fuck you DMCA. Guy 2. I agree. Bing. Search engine used to find Google. Most common search. Google. Fuck. Internet Explorer only uses Bing. And I need Google. Let's search Bing for Google. Tumblr drugs. The end of your social life. John. Hey Jane. What did you do this weekend? I partied every single night. Jane, I stayed up all day and all night on Tumblr. WhatsApp. Messaging app for people having affairs. Used in conjunction with words with friends. WhatsApp lets you chat to your whore without being seen to be online. Sharon, the home rooking whore, uses WhatsApp to chat to her married boyfriend. His wife will never know. Pinterest. Tumblr for housewives. 80% of all Pinterest users are women, and about 99% of its content is pure virtual estrogen. LinkedIn. My space for people who actually have jobs. I found Greg on LinkedIn, and he hooked me up with a great headhunter. Miss Space. It's the ultimate game of testing your ego. 
it becomes a competition of seeing who has the most friends, so you add everyone you've made eye contact with in the past 6 years, constantly posting bulletins telling people to comment on your new pics please or die. Also a way for every garage band ever to make a miss bass music profile without even have talent and or experience as other bands have. Also a new place for every hot girl in the world to prove how slutty they are by making a misspace and putting pictures of themselves where they only have one fifth of their clothes on with the quote under it. I used photoshop to cover my boobs, so what? Reddit. It's like 4chan with a condom. Reddit. It's like 4chan with a condom. TikTok. A platform that makes you reconsider life. It is filled with middle schoolers and high schoolers who think they are cute. It's also filled with Cory Boos, Weeboos, Anim One Abes, Vampire One Abes, Furries, Emmas, people with no teeth, and old men collaborating with little girls. See TikTok. Yo dude I just installed TikTok and you're not my freaking friend anymore Jeremy. Bro shut the hell up. Discord. An app which is a chat for gamers. They caused Skype and TeamSpeak to go extinct. Most communities are nice. They are gaming related, anime related, book related, or from anything else on the internet. There are also sketchy channels that do porn, drug deals, pedophilia, and conspiracy. Just don't go on those channels or you most likely see something you wish you didn't. Discord, Omiwa Moishindaru, Skype and TeamSpeak, Nani?